welcome to the channel. Today we have a real treat for you espresso drinkers with a feature review and integration of the Ember Cup. Ember is a company that started eight years ago and focused on creating temperature control cups and mugs of various different styles and sizes. More recently, they have ventured into other product lines such as temperature control baby bottles and even temperature control medical supply shipment boxes. We'll run you through what you get in the box, the features this super smart cup offers, then we'll pair it with a feature rich Ember application and integrate it into Home Assistant. Then we'll round up with a recommendation as to you if you should buy it, consider it or skip it. So let's put the kettle on, make a coffee and see how you can make a cup smart. One of the best unboxing experience you get are with Apple products and Ember are right up there and are even listed on the Apple website. The Ember cup, which is designed for espresso based drinks, have a capacity of six ounces. Inside the box, you get the Ember cup with a matte black finish and a charging coaster that when the cup is placed onto it will charge the internal battery that is used for heating your favorite beverage. You also get an international wall charging adapter with interchangeable plug heads that make this compatible with your region. The six ounce Ember cup comes in matte black or an attractive copper finish, which looks fabulous, but does cost slightly more. It comes in three sizes and styles from the six ounce cup to the 10 ounce mug through to the 12 ounce travel mug, which does come with some on mug controls and display of the temperature. It's designed for espresso based drinks such as cappuccinos and fits nicely under the espresso machine porter filter, which saves having to transfer your coffee from one cup to another, which is handy as none of the Ember range are dishwasher friendly. The Ember Cup is 3.3 inches high and 3.3 inches across and weighs in at 11.5 ounces, which does make it heavier than you expect, but you become used to it very quickly. Integrated into the cup is a battery that will keep your beverage at the set temperature for up to 1.5 hours or all day when placed on the coaster, which supplies power to the cup. The cup is designed to keep your hot beverage between 120 and 145 degrees which can be set within the Ember application. At the base of the cup is a smart LED that will change color and be solid or flash. This signifies various different states for the mug from pairing, charging, heating status, and many more. As you would expect with a smart cup, it comes with various different smart features. The cup will enter into sleep mode when it's empty or after two hours of inactivity. The cup will wake from sleep mode when the cup is either moved or liquid is poured into it. On the bottom of the cup is a single discrete button that can be used to turn on or off the cup plus cycle through available temperature settings. The coaster of the Ember cup is simple and stylish, allowing power transfer to the cup through two power pins that connect to two concentric conductors on the base of the cup. Control of the Ember cup is through the Ember app, which is a polished design and simple to use. It's available through the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store, links in the description. Now, I won't be going into an exhaustive testing of the Ember Cup, but I'll put a link in the description to a full in-depth review of the performance of the Ember Cup from Good Housekeeping. I'll assume that you've already installed the application. Select your Ember device. In my case, this is the cup. Press Next. Press and hold the button at the bottom until the LED flashes blue and press Next. Once found via Bluetooth, press pair to pair your device with your phone. You'll now be successfully connected to your Ember device. Read through the privacy policy and accept the terms and conditions. Optionally press the share data with Ember. Your Ember product will now be displayed and available for controls. The center of the screen will display if the cup is full or empty. The bottom of the screen is a slider that will show this preset temperature that the Ember mug will try to attain. Moving into the settings, you now have the option to be able to personalize it, change the brightness of the LED, display what the battery is, and what the temperature units will be. Personalizing your Ember mug allows you to change the color of the LED that is displayed at the bottom of the mug. Various different notification options are available, allowing for notifications on your phone for when the cup is attained temperature, has a low battery, a firmware is available, or alternatively for marketing material. The Ember integration is not natively supported with Home Assistant. 
but is available through the Home Assistant Community Store or Hacks as it's known. If you don't have Hacks installed, then follow the video in the pop-up above and then come back to this video. You will also need a working Bluetooth integration within Home Assistant. I'll put a link in the description to Bluetooth dongles that are supported within Home Assistant. You can achieve the same Bluetooth integration via Bluetooth proxy, which bridges Bluetooth connections to Wi-Fi. I'll put a link in the description to a page with the instructions of how to achieve this. The other point to note is that it is best that you set up the Ember device via the app first, so that you have the name, LED color, and temperatures already configured, as they may not work through the integration. And finally, you'll need to either turn off your Bluetooth or forget your Ember mug on your phone. This will avoid Home Assistant and the Ember mug fighting for the connection. The downside of this will be that you'll either have the Ember mug connected or you'll have Home Assistant connected, but not both. I'll leave you to decide on that point. Navigate to Hacks in the left-hand menu. Select Integrations. Press the blue button in the bottom right-hand corner for Explore and Download Repositories. Search for and select Ember. Now press the Download button in the bottom right-hand corner. Confirm your download by pressing Download. Now remember you will need to restart Home Assistant for the integration to become available. Press the Developer Tools on the left-hand side. Press Check Configuration. Confirm the configuration will not prevent Home Assistant from starting. Press Restart. Press Restart Home Assistant and confirm with Restart. When Home Assistant comes back, navigate to Settings, Devices and Services. Press the Add Integration in the bottom right-hand corner. Search for and select Ember. Now your Ember mug should show up at this point in time. However, if you need to put your Ember mug into pairing mode, press and hold the button on the bottom of the Ember mug for six to eight seconds until the LED goes blue. Your Ember mug will now be in pairing mode and the integration should now be able to find it. Press the submit button. Optionally, give it an area. Now let's go and see what entities are being brought back. Select the Ember mug. Select the devices hyperlink. Now we can see sensor information from the mug the current temperature, the liquid level, and the state. In the configuration, we can now change the LED color, set the temperature, turn on the control temperature, which will activate the heating. We can also set the temperature presets. The sensor values and configurations can now be added to a dashboard to allow you to view the status of your Ember mug, but also to be able to control it. So what do I think of the Ember Cup? Should you consider it? buy it or skip it. Well, I'm a big coffee drinker and I love my coffee nice and hot. So it's a simple choice of buy it for me. The Ember cup is stylish and holds its temperature well. The only caveat I have was that it was six ounces is not a lot of coffee. So this will be re-gifted to a friend who likes espresso coffee and I'll be getting the travel mug too as it holds 12 ounces. The Ember application is simple to use, provides the functionality you need and looks great. As for the Home Assistant integration, well, since it needs to be the Ember app or Home Assistant due to the Bluetooth connectivity fighting for access, I'll probably ditch the Home Assistant integration and use the Ember application and wait to see if there's an upgrade that will allow for both connections to coexist. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider liking, subscribing, joining the ever-growing community. And if I've helped you make a purchasing or integration decision, then consider a super thanks or buy me a coffee as we know it will be super hot until the next one.